Oh, oh, that was a, wow. Okay, okay. I was watching the dragonfly landed on my pole and I mean, that was a big bite. Look at him. I'm Ricky Myers and Big Timers, I'm your outdoor instructor and today we're going to be doing a really exciting episode. We're going cane pole fishing. Last time I was here I'm really excited because everything here was dried up. There was only little pools left and the fish were all trapped but we had a big rain here and I can already see every little channel in this forest is flooded and there's water where there normally wouldn't be water. The fish could be moving all throughout these woods and through these little areas here. Instead of it being a dried up forest, it's now a flooded forest. So I'm really excited to go cane pole fishing. It's gonna be perfect because when it's flooded, I can just walk and dip my bait in all these little channels and see what I can catch. I'm gonna be giving you some great tips on cane pole fishing. It's looking pretty good and I'm pretty excited about it right now. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at this forest now. It's actually flooded. We had a bunch of rain here. You can see this river here. It's actually got water flow through it now. This has been so dry, it's never been flowing. So all these little streams now are running into the ponds that were almost dried up. If you can see down there, this pipe right there was bone dry for months. And now you can see that it's flooded. The water is coming through it. So it's pretty thick bushes. I'm going to throw a piece of bait in there just to test it before I try and make my way down there. That'll be a good indication if the fish are actually moving through these woods or not. So I'll throw a little piece of shrimp in there and see if something actually bites it. This has not been flooded. This is the first time I've seen this flooded. All these woods are flooded and it was bone dry here before. So I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to toss one in there and see if anything bites it. That will be a good indication on how far the fish are moving through these woods right now. But trying to toss it in a spot where I can actually see it sink. Nothing yet. I find the pipe. Let's see what happens right there. And it does have water flow because I can see it flowing through there, but nothing has bitten it yet. So this just happened last night. So they might not be coming through here yet, but they will be soon. But this is a great little pool right here. Let's see what happens right there. If not, we're just going to keep moving on. But this is really cool to see this thing flooded for once. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be walking all throughout these woods. So this is what makes this fun and this is what makes cane pole fishing fun. I'm going to be walking all throughout these woods. I'm going to be fishing all these little channels and it's perfect now because the forest is flooded. So I'm going to be using this bamboo cane pole. I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to use this. But I'm going to be testing all these little pools out to see if there's any fish in them. They should be moving through the woods now. What we're doing here is the last time I was here, it was a dried up forest. Now we're fishing the flooded forest. So this is going to be a lot of fun today. And we're going to see what we can catch. Now I can't coming up to this pool here. And look at how deep this is. If you look at one of my previous episodes, I am right now just floored by this. If I was here last time and this was dried out, there was actually fish that died in here. That's actually a good four feet deep in the middle. I'm going to try this really quick. And what you want to do is when you come up to these pools is just throw in a bait at first, a piece of shrimp, because you want to just test it to see if anything bites first before you get set up and you start fishing one of these pools. So I'm gonna test this one. Last time I was here, which wasn't long ago, about a week ago, this place was bone dry. Now you can see it's completely filled up. So I'm gonna find out right now in a minute if there's actually fish moving through these woods. And a great test, like I said, is to pull up, just toss some bait in there and see what happens. I'm gonna try that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I said, throw a piece of shrimp in here, see if anything bites it. And then we're going to try and fish this if something does. There might not be anything in here yet, though. So I'm just going to toss a couple pieces of shrimp in here and see if anything gets to it. But this is going to be a great indication if they're actually moving through here yet, the fish. 
so we're gonna find out in a minute but it could be too soon still I still might have to fish some of the deeper pools nothing yet I'm watching that I'm keeping my eye on that one if that's a good shot right there if something's in here they should have bit that one I took my eye off it for a minute and now it's gone Let's see what happens over here nothing took that one one more if not we're just gonna move right along even though this is really deep there could not be anything in here because it was just dry not too long ago so if nothing bites that we're gonna continue to move on in these woods nothing bit let's go okay guys I'm walking up here and I'm coming right up on this amazing lake here wait till you see what I just found look at this this is like friggin out of control look at this look at what I found here look at this mini little flooded lake in the woods this is gonna have fish in it for sure and I'm not even gonna test this because I can already tell that this has been here for a while and the water is definitely up high to the water line so the fish in here are going to definitely be active. I'm just kind of observing and seeing what's going on and it's actually really high and it's amazing. I see all kinds of waves moving around in here so I can already tell there's fish in here. So I'm going to put on a little piece of shrimp. I got my cane pole here and I also got an extra tip. I always bring an extra tip with my bamboo cane pole in case somehow the top one breaks off I have a spare and it doesn't end my day so we're gonna get the fish in this pond right now so I'm just gonna be uh, putting a little piece of shrimp on here I already saw one move in there so I'm just gonna put a little shrimp on this hook I do have the bar pinched down again this cane pole I have it about a foot below. It's a 13 foot cane pole. The line is about a foot below. That's the best way you want to do it. I can do more because I'm skilled at it, but I don't need more. So let's check this out right here. We come right in here. Look at this. This is just absolutely wild in here. Let's see what we can get right off the bat. I saw one move right over here. So I'm going to try it right there. Watch for it to disappear. See if we get one right here going down pretty far now I can't see it so now I'm watching to see if the line actually jerks nothing right there which is surprising I actually see minnows moving around in here Wow no bite yet okay I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna try and fling it right along those those weeds right there see what I can get right in there nice cast but nothing's biting. Possible I could have scared him on the way up here. Try this side. There's one. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at this one. Look at this guy. That's a beauty. I'm gonna finesse him in on the cane pole. Nice little fight there. And this is a beautiful sunfish warm mouth. Look at this guy. Right in the side, I mean, he got it right away. And believe it or not, he's got some nice little teeth on him. But look at this little beauty. Barely hooked into that soft tissue right there. And that hook just comes right out. But look at this. Look at this guy. How nice is that? Look at those red eyes. I mean, that is a beautiful fish right there, isn't it? Look at this guy right here. Beautiful fish. Look at his red eyes. Look at his beautiful red eyes. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. So I don't mind catching these fish now because they got a ton of food in here. I mean, I see hundreds and hundreds of minnows. I don't even know what those are. These fish have a lot of food. When I came into the dried forest last time, it was really dried up. I didn't want to put too much pressure on them because it was getting low, but now there's a lot of water in here, so it's actually okay to catch them. I'm gonna walk through these woods right here because I could have scared whatever was right there. So I'm gonna try this shoreline over here and see what I can get right along here. It kind of opens up into a little beach area. So I'm gonna see what I can get right here, but 
I tell you what, look at this nice little mound here. But that was a beautiful fish. So they must be in here all year, and this pond did not get dried up. It's nice and high right now. And these fish are having a field day in here right now because the water's up. See what happens right here. I cannot tell you how deep it is here too. It drops down nicely. Got one, look at that. Beautiful. So I got another nice one here. Look at this beauty. This guy is a beauty. Look at this little guy. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this guy. I got him right in the side, no problem. Comes right out. Look at that. These guys actually have big little mouths here. But the way I work that, look at that little purple on his gill. Nice little red eyes. He is a beautiful fish. Let's throw him back. Right in there. There he goes. Look at him. I'm watching him swim right to the bottom. So what I did there, I made my cast nothing bit and I slowly just moved the bait along there and as I start to move it one chased it and bit it so I got one right there that was an awesome catch right there and a, and a great technique so I still got the same bait on I'm gonna try it again I'm just working the shoreline maybe we can get a bluegill That was, wow. Okay, okay. Uh, I was watching the dragonfly landed on my pole and I mean, that was a big bite. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that jerked the friggin' whole pole and the bait is gone. So let me go get a new bait on and I'm gonna come right back here and see if I can catch that. Okay, I'm gonna try it again, same spot. Whatever that was, felt a little bigger. Maybe it's one of those pancake sized bluegills. See if I can get them right here. There he is. Oh, and he's off. He's off. I saw it disappear. That was a nice one. I don't know what that was, but I'm going to try and get him. I'm definitely going to try and get him. I'm trying to set the hook really quick because I don't want them to swallow it. So I'm been setting the hook perfectly. I'm just kind of, oh, there he's got him. Oh, he's off again. I'm just kind of squatting down so I can see the bait outside of the glare. Yeah, just a little more. Oh, there he's got him. This, oh, and he's off again. Holy crap, man. I hope that didn't scare him. That seemed like a little bit better of a hook set. So I hope that didn't scare him off. Now I'm just moving it slowly through the water again. I don't see it. There he is. Got him this time. I got one this time. Okay, it's another one of those warm mouth. That might not have been the big one that was biting, but this is still a beauty. So we got another one out of here. This is the third one. See that hook just popped out. Look at that beauty. He is a really nice one. Let's throw him back right here. There he goes. I'm gonna try that same spot right now. And again, all I'm doing is I'm using shrimp. I'm just breaking off little pieces and I'm putting them at the end of this little hook with the barb pinch down. So let's see if we can get one more out of here before we move on to the next one. I think there's another little pond right up there. Try it right here. Oop, I had one. Let me get it right back out there. As you can see, look at how easy it is to maneuver with this cane pole. I just got it right back over there, and there he is. Oh, and he's off. You can see I had another one there. So I can get the bait right back out there. 
and at it pretty quick, faster than your your regular fishing rod. So I'm just swinging it all over. Got one. Oh, and he's off. So again, I was twitching it on the way in. I was twitching it on the way in, and he came in and bit it. So that was kind of cool. I'm going to do the same technique here. I'm just going to twitch it a little bit. Oh, and I had one. I had another one. So this back corner is just loaded with fish. So I want to get one more out of here. See what we can get right there. Got one. This is a, oh, look at this one. Look at this one. This is a nice one. Look at this one right here. Another one. So this pond is just loaded with them. Look at that guy. That's a nice one right there. He is a nice one. Look at that. Okay, so I come up on this other little pond here and I saw something in the shallow water right here. I don't want to get too close, but it looked long and skinny. It almost looked like a little chain pickerel. I've never caught one of those before, but it'll be an interesting catch if I get them. So I'm trying not to scare him here. Let's see if I can get it right in there. He's still there. Got it right in front of him and he swam off. The water is really clear in this one. He left, but that is the one I would love to have caught. There's one. Okay, we got one right in that in that middle part. This is one of those warm mouth again. Got another one of these. Beauty, look at those red gills. It's another one of those little warm mouth. What a beauty, look at this one. So I'm gonna let him go right here. Look at this guy. Let's let him go right here. And then there he goes. Just like that. This is where I saw that little pickerel in here. Would have loved to have caught that. Got one. Ooh, look at this one. Look at this one. This one's a bigger one too. Look at this one. Holy man. This is a nice one right here. Got him right in the bottom left. Oh, okay. I got him right in the bottom. That's a nice one right there. Okay. Look at this one right here. I'm going to let him go right here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. There he goes, right back into the middle. Awesome catch right there. Okay, we walked through the woods and I've been to this pond before. If you check out one of my other videos, I fished this one and caught a couple small ones in it. I know there's some bigger ones, but if you check that video out, look at how much the water has come up since that last video. So now it's gonna be easier to possibly catch some of the bigger ones because when it was shallow and drying up, those lily pads were all concentrated in one spot, so it was hard to cast. But now you can see there's a ton of openings. They spread out. So now I can actually get the bait in here. And I tell you, the water again is like really clear in here. It's out of control. Let me just work some of these holes here. There's one. Oh, and he's off. Okay, that was a bite right away right in that spot I got a bite. I can see him. It's actually a decent sized one. Let's see if I can get him to bite right here. There he is. Got him right away. Look at this guy. This is a nice one too. He's just been, he's been eaten. He hit it hard. That's not the one I was after, but it's still a beauty. Look at that. So let's bring him over here. Let's bring him over here. I'm going to let him go right in here. Yeah, that, oh, and then that, there he goes. Okay, right back to the depths. There he goes. Beautiful water. I'm going to try this side. There's a nice opening right here. Let's see 
see what happens right there. Oh, there he is. Got him. This is a tiny one. I got this one right out of there, but I see some bigger ones swimming around. This one is actually... Oop. This one's really tiny. Oh, and then there he goes. He let himself go. There he goes. Okay, I'm going to try and hit one of these other holes right here. I see a nice angle right there. Right in the middle, right there. Perfect cast. There he goes. Oh, he took it off. Okay, I'm going to try right here. I see a lot of them moving around. Should get one right here. There he is. Ooh, this is a nice one. Look at this one. Oh, oh and he's off. I'm trying to block him. I want to see what this is. This is an actual sunfish, so this isn't one of those warmouth. Maybe it is. We're going to let him go right here. Let me let him go right here. And then there he goes. Right back into the water. Nice little catch there. Beautiful little catch. Okay, so I've run out of bait. I'm going to head out of here. You can see we had a great time. And that's why I like cane pole fishing. It's really fun. You can come and fish all these lakes. And you'll learn a lot of tips. You'll come on some great adventures like this one. If you like biking, camping, cooking, and fishing, I incorporate all those activities into one. You'll get some really great tips if you like one or the other. If you don't like biking but you like fishing, you'll get some great fishing tips or vice versa. I hope you enjoyed this awesome bamboo cane pole fishing episode in this flooded forest. And I'll be back again real soon on the next great adventure. I hope you enjoyed it, but if you like biking, camping, cooking, if you like biking, camping, cooking, fishing, and, and uh, oh fuck. <laughs> well, I'm tired, that's why. Okay. If you like biking, camping, cooking, fishing, and hiking, I incorporate all those into one and you'll learn a lot of tips. You'll come on some great adventures like this one. So I hope you enjoyed this awesome bamboo cane pole fishing adventure in this flooded forest. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna join you on the next adventure real soon.